Hello and welcome to module 2 adding content and managing your Google site and this is part 1. This is module 2 of a 5 module course entitled Becoming an E-Teacher. If you're watching this video on YouTube you can see the entire course with all supporting documentation for free at this address. The avatars in this video are made at www.spstudio.de In this video we're going to look at layout and design options for Fifi site, adding and formatting text and adding images. Let's have a look at the way we can make basic changes to the look and layout of Fifi site. We need to go into more actions and manage site. Next we need to go to site appearance and we'll start with themes. At the moment we're in the branches team, but let's say we want to have a look at notebook. We can click preview, have a look at what our site would be like. If we like it, make sure to select it, save changes, changes have been saved, and return to site. Now we can see that the site looks very, very different. If we click on a new page, we can see that all of the pages have been changed. Let's go back to branches, manage site themes, branches, save changes and return to site. As easy as that. Let's see can we change some of the smaller details on the site like font and colors. Once again into manage site, this time colors and fonts. We can change any number of things. Let's have a look at page background color which is this green area here. At the moment we're using the theme default. Let's go to custom and select this green color here and we can see a change. When we have what we're happy with we would select save changes. We're going to go back to the default. When you make any changes it's important always to click save changes and we can change font colors, background colors, images, all number of things. Every page is divided into content areas. We have the main content area here, we have the header area, and we have a sidebar. If I click on site layout, you can see that we can control the content of each of these in the look. In the header, we can add a logo. If you're doing this, remember to keep your logo small. In the sidebar, at the moment, we have a navigation panel. I can edit this by going in here, and I can decide how many levels I want to show. One level, two, three. This means how many sub-pages. I'm going to keep it on two. I also want to have a sitemap, which I showed you earlier. So everything here is OK. But I do want to add one more sidebar item. I want to add an item called My Recent Activity. I click Add and Save Changes. Return to Site and we can see a list of the recent changes I have made and these are the addition of the class news pages for each of the main pages for the classes. And those are the ways you can make basic changes to the look and feel of your website. Now we're going to see how we can add and change text on the site. Here we are on Fifi's homepage. I'm going to click Edit Page. And now we see our word processing menu bar across the top. I'm going to add a line of text here. Okay. Now if I want to change anything, uh, let's say I want to make this bold, uh, maybe I want to make this here to the left, underlined, it's as simple as that. All I'm doing is what I would do if I was using 
a word processor. The second thing I can do is I can decide what areas are available for me to put text or images in. I can click layout. At the moment I'm in two column. I can pick two column with a bar on top and now I get a second bar here. Now what this allows me to do is to alter the size of this bar here. I can click welcome. I'm going to copy. I'm going to move this down here. And I'm going to say and if I click save you'll see welcome to my website has simply become welcome. I can change this again. And we can see home page and home page. If I like, I can go back into edit page, layout, and I can have three columns. This would be good if I was adding, let's say, a number of photographs across the page. And there are the basic changes I can make to the text on Fifi's page. Now we're going to see how to add images to our site. In Google, I'm going to do a search for Commons Wikimedia. And here we have it. It's the first entry we get. And here's our site. Now, this is a site where you can find a lot of photographs that you can use which are copyright free, which means you can use them on your page legally. If you simply take an image from Google by doing an image search, you might be using an image which is owned by somebody else, and that is breaking the law. Now, uh, Fifi wants an image for her art class, so I'm going to type in art and see what we get. And here we are. We have the Gigonda, the Mona Lisa. I click on it and I see down here that this image is in the public domain because its copyright has expired and it applies to United States, Australia and European Union which is where we are. So I'm going to use this image. I'm going to click on. Now if I want to save an image from the internet I right click and I click save image as. Now I'm going to save it on my desktop and save. And I can see my image has been downloaded. Now I'm going to go back to Fifi site and we're going to go into art and this is our empty page. First thing we need to do is go into edit image or edit page. Here's our page and we already have a layout of two and I want to put my image of the Mona Lisa in this box here. I click insert and insert image. And I'm going to upload an image and I'm going to choose a file. I'm in desktop and I now, now need to find my image of the Mona Lisa and here we have it. Click open and we'll see it's been uploaded. Click OK and here we have. Now at the moment it's quite large. If I click on the bottom I can change sizes. I'm going to bring it to medium, click wrap on and center. I'm going to click save and there we have it, our classes Mona Lisa. If I click edit page I can now enter in some text here. make this a little bigger. I can even change the color. And there you have it. Adding images is as easy as that. And that's the end of part one of module two, making a website. This is module two in a five module course entitled Becoming an E-Teacher. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can see the entire course with all the supporting documents for free at the following website. In module two, part two, we're going to look at adding links, adding videos, and adding class notes.